Hello and welcome to Tax Guru. This is a special program where we are trying to make sense of the new direct tax code that has been suggested. In many ways, this looks like a really radical step, if all of this remains, of course, once it's into law. But we really need to understand it, figure out what some of the fine print could be. And that's one of the reasons why we've assembled just the most fantastic team we could think of, who know everything about all aspects of what could possibly happen in this. I'm going to start off by introducing... From my left out here, one of the people I think on this panel who may have some problems with what is being suggested, Atul Kumar and Jan of the Communist Party of India. Thank you so much uh, uh, for joining us. Manish Tiwari, who's smiling, he thinks uh, this is something which will get you some middle class votes, but you have to get, the, get it through, I guess, at, in some form or the other, Manish. We'll, we'll wait and see. Okay, next to him, uh, Rahul, Rahul Garg, Executive Director of Tax at PwC. Lots of simplifications. I suspect you could be losing some fees. So no, I'm not sir. sure whether you should be smiling or whether you shouldn't be smiling. Uh, next, next to him, two people who actually were involved in this very closely and round about the same time. Uh, Mr. Mr. C.M. Vasudev, who was uh, former Economic Affairs Secretary, also former Expenditure Secretary. Uh, thank you for being with us. And sitting next to him, uh, Mr. Uh, S. Narayan, who's now a columnist at Mint, of course, but was a former Revenue Secretary, also former uh, Secretary of Economic Affairs. So you really dealt with this, and we'll be getting your views. We're also being joined by P. N. Vijay, who both represents the BJP and is, of course, a leading investment advisor and guru and guide, and by Subhash Rakotia, who is one of the top tax people we know. So lots and lots of experts will tell you just what this means for you and your taxes once this comes up. It's been called a mini budget. Actually, if all of this did go through in one budget, it would have been considered a fairly radical budget. So before we go any further, let's just quickly run you through some of the major factors of the tax code, especially insofar as it affects you. And here is what it is. What does it mean for personal income tax? These are the slabs now which are being suggested. Up to 1.6 lakhs, no tax. Then, and here's when a big jump happens, there's a giant slab going all the way up to 10 lakh rupees. And here tax is only 10%. So if you're, at the nine, if you're getting 9 lakh rupees a year, you are only paying at the maximum rate of 10%. And that could mean something like 10,000 rupees more in your hand uh, every single month. So that, that's a major step. Then there's another massive slab all the way going up to 25 lakh rupees a year. 10 to 25, and your maximum rate is 20%. So if you get something like 24 lakh rupees a year, the maximum tax rate you will pay will be 20%. And then there's that final tax tab, which is 30% for income tax above 20, 25 lakh rupees. And that sounds great. There are, of course, some things in the, in the tail which we will come <coughs> to. Also, deduction limits for savings will be raised. It will go all the way up to 3 lakh, which is really going to encourage people uh, to save. For companies, well, it sounds like good news in that uh, the corporate tax rate will be down to 25%. But here again, there will be stings in the tail because all exemptions seem to be going. So everyone is going to end up getting taxed. Effective taxation may actually go up for companies, but we'll ask our experts about that. Um, wealth tax. Now, it's really the, 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 the limit is being kicked up. Only a very few small number of people will presumably be paying this wealth tax. It's only going to be levied for wealth above 50 crore rupees. And it's at the rate of something like 0.25%. Um, and um, there are, of course, some stings in the tail that I was, that I was talking to you about. Um, all withdrawals from savings, for example, uh, will, will end up getting taxed. We'll have to figure out what some of the fine print is. Tubar.com. 